I recently had this comment from Hermes, a subscriber on my channel. And so I decided that I would indeed make a video all about sap farming, and that's today's video. So Hermes and anybody else that's wondering, I really hope this video helps you out. Let's jump into it. So in order to farm sap, the first thing that you'll need to do is go ahead and make up one of these things. This is the sap extractor. And as you can see, it requires 10 Yggdrasil wood, 5 black metal, and 1 Dwerger extractor. So let's see how we get all of those things. So to get the Dwerger extractor, there are two places you can come to do so. So one of which is behind me right here. And you can see here we have several Dwerger mages and rogues guarding this structure. Now, if we head inside and we go up the stairs here, then I'll show you what it is we're looking for. And it is this right here, the Dwerger component crate. So you'll need to smash this open in order to get the drop that's inside. However, as soon as you do so, all of these guys are going to start going absolutely mental and attacking you. So if I grab an axe, walk up to here and start smashing, then boom, it opens up. And you can see there we got a Dwerger extractor from here. Incidentally, because of this tutorial i'm in ghost mode but if i was not then this is what would happen so i've taken myself out of ghost mode and they are now very very annoyed at me and they're gonna go crazy and this is gonna destroy a lot of the building and probably me as well as such before you go into a building like that in order to get the extractor you may want to start fighting these from afar so doing some ranged attacks on them to start off with and picking them off one by one if you just run in and smash the crate open like i did then you have to fight them all at once and that is going to be really tricky even if you are heavily geared another place that you can find these Dwerger extractor crates is in these things right here, these sort of Dwerger camps that you'll see throughout Mistlands. So I've headed into the camp and I've had a bit of a look around and I didn't actually think this one had one. However, it was hiding from you guys. It's up in here. <laughs> so do be sure to look everywhere. And again, it's the same process as before. We just need to go ahead and smash this open. But when we do, all these guys will go crazy if I weren't in ghost mode right now. So once again, it might be an idea to start picking these guys off first before you smash open their crate. Now, another part of the recipe is the Yggdrasil wood, as you can see here. So in order to get that, you'll have to find these trees right here. And you can see if you look at them, they do say Yggdrasil shoots on them. Now, the stone, bronze, and even the iron axes are all not strong enough in order to chop these trees down. So you will need to start at either the Jotun Bane, which is the new axe slash weapon that is in the game, or of course the black metal axe. You see here, if I hit with the Jotun Bane right there, it does start to chop these down, doing about 35, 36 damage a time. If we compare that to the black metal axe, however, you'll see that that's only doing about 25 a time. So the Jotun Bane is actually a very good axe to use for chopping down these new trees once you get that. But the Black Metal Axe is a pretty good alternative as if you're quite new to the Mistlands area, you might not have got all the materials for the Yotun Bane just yet. Now once we smash these logs up, you'll see that we get ourselves a bit of wood and also a bit of the Yggdrasil wood. And there we go right there, we got five from this tree so far. We need ten of course in order to make the sap extractor. Now in order to get Black Metal, you'll need to come to the Plains biome and kill all of the fuelings right here. So you get fuelings and fueling berserkers and shamans and stuff like that. Now I have done a full guide in the past on how to actually attack these camps as they can be very difficult. These guys are very strong. I'll link that video in the description if you want a full guide on that. So once you have all of your ingredients on you, you need to find this right here, which is the ancient root pulsating with energy. This of course symbolizes the Yggdrasil tree itself that is found in the Mistlands biome. Now you have to make yourself up a workbench somewhere in the vicinity first in order to allow yourself to build this right here, the sap extractor. But then we can simply place that down on this wood right here and all we have to do at this point is wait. Now you'll see if I spawn a seeker in here just like this, he is not interested in the sap extractor and will not attack it. Similarly, if I go ahead and spawn in a Yarl, you'll see if we watch him for a little bit of time that he also will not attack the sap extractor. So that means that you can just place these things down and go off and leave them to do their extracting or you get on with other things and you don't have to protect them. And see that animation right there, guys? That means our first bit of sap is ready. Ignore the noise, that's the Yarl noise. That is not the noise that is made by the sap extractor. But you will see there that it's sort of glowing green now and we can go ahead and press E to collect our sap from it. And just to say, you can, of course, place multiple ones of these all on the same bit of wood. So use as many as the uh, game will allow you to place because you can't place them too close to one another. But yeah, if you leave a bit of a gap, then you place several of these down on one bit and this could be your little sap farm. Now, one thing I will say, guys, is be sure to go to your map, scroll right in and then leave some sort of little icon here that says, hey, this is where my sap is. That way, if you do leave it and you just go off and explore other areas, you won't lose it because in Mistlands, it can be very, very easy to lose things. So I've done some testing and as you can see, we have an ancient root here that says it seems like it is all dried up. So when we have sap extractors that didn't collect any sap before that happened, or if we place sap extractors on after that's happened, they don't seem to extract any sap at all. Which makes sense because this says it's all dried up, but this however does say it's extracting slowly. So although it says extracting slowly, I waited five in-game days and zero sap was extracted. So I assume that once it's all dried up, you're not going to get any more from it. Now the next thing I'm going to test is I'm going to remove every single one of these sap extractors and then wait a good few in-game days and just see whether or not this ancient root gets
gets any of it sat back into it or if it's just gone forever at that point. So let's take all of these down and I'll let you know the results once I have them. Incidentally, guys, it might be worth mentioning, if we look at this sap extractor here, we see it has one sap in it right now. Now, if I go ahead and destroy that, you'll see we actually do not get the sap from it. We get the ingredients from it. So here's the Drasil wood just running down the hill there. There we go. We got that. And we also get back the Duergo extractor and the black metal, but we don't get any of the sap that was actually in it. So be sure to extract all of your sap before you destroy them. Just a random thing about these sap extractors, guys. You can place them pretty much anywhere you want in the game, uh, but they won't extract. They'll only extract if they're on the magical wood before it has dried up, of course. But they do make for nice little decorational points as well. Uh, just thought I'd mention, though, that when you place them elsewhere, you don't get any sap from them. So I went AFK for quite a long time in game, and you can see now it says the ancient roots glow is fading. So whereas before it was completely gone, it's now fading. And you'll see that if at this stage I go ahead and place a sap extractor in here and wait a little bit of time, this will actually fill all the way back up again. So we can go ahead and collect all of that, and we've got all of that sap. And then eventually we'll get back to the point where it is again all dried up. So it seems that once you get to a point where the ancient root has all dried up, you can collect all your sap from it and then just leave it for a little while and it will start to get some of its sap back and then you can come and collect more again. So it might be an idea to mark these locations on your map so that every time you need some more sap, you can come back and get it as and when you need it. So Hermes, I really hope this video helped you out and of course anybody else that was watching. And if it did, please do consider liking and subscribing. Now the dad jokes are of course coming, but I just want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. What's the best way to watch a canoeing tournament? on a live stream. How do you tell the difference between an alligator and a crocodile? You'll see one later and the other in a while. Why did the man name his dogs Rolex and Timex? Because they were watchdogs. What do you call a dog that can do magic? A labracadabrador.